Hey there, this is Nathan with NonstopAwesomeness.me. Hope you are doing well and wanted to do a short video about exercise while you're traveling. And just like nutrition, this could be, um, you know, whether you're on a plane or a train or whatever is, uh, whatever is, whatever is your situation, uh, there are definitely ways to stay uh, moving and to stay active and to integrate that into your day. So uh, for me right now, I'm on Amtrak and I have the sleeper car. It's not very wide. Let me see if I can give you a sense here. So I'm touching the window and then I'm touching the door and you know, my arms cannot completely stretch out for one full arm span. It's like half and half, but it's enough space for me to uh, get stuff done. Now there is this uh, uh, second bed that slants down. So I, you know, I don't want to walk into that, but there's plenty of room to, you know, twist my body and uh, you know, like lift, lift my knees up high and get all that going. Um, I also do these energization exercises, which I learned in Hawaii. It's about um, consciously sending energy to certain, uh, to different parts of your body. So um, one would look like, you know, as if I were lifting weights at the gym. You know, it's sending uh, tension to my biceps and then, you know, uh, doing that again. So it's almost like I'm pulling weights towards me and then pushing weights away from me. And, uh, you know, I can do that. There's enough room to do that out to the sides and then even out, you know, front. So this would be working the triceps in this exercise. So uh, there are those kinds of exercises. Uh, I just learned this at uh, Tai Chi. I just started taking some classes, and this is a Tai Chi warm-up if you want to work on squats or, you know, your quads. So you put your uh, hands together like this, you fold your thumbs, and then you just follow your uh, fingers. And as they come down, you go down. And you don't have to go as low as I'm going. Um, if that if that doesn't work for you, uh, even as the teacher was saying, if you go down a couple inches, that works. But there's plenty of room to do this kind of stretching. Uh, and then um, I, uh, you know, I always like to uh, uh, loosen up my ankles, and so you know, I just kind of roll my feet around, and that's what I'm doing now, and you know, go both ways with that. And um, I, you know, I like to vary it up between yoga, tai chi, stretchings, calisthenics. Um, uh, walking, you know, I've been I've been walking up and down the cars just to get some exercise. Uh, if you don't have a sleeper car, uh, just walking the length of the cars, walking the whole train can be great just to do that. You know, maybe once an hour or once every 90 minutes. Uh, if you're stopped, you can get out and do some stretching um, or do a little bit more aggressive walk or whatever. I mean, but it's just cool that there's uh, enough space. Now I can't reach up if I'm standing, but if I just you know bend at my legs. And I can go into like a yoga pose or, you know, stretch over and all that kind of good stuff. So there's plenty of space for all, the, all those things. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, whatever your situation is, even if you're in a car, I remember reading this, you know, if you're at a stoplight and just to like turn and like grab the back of the seat and just stretch your body and stretch the other way. Like that can be a great way so that when you get to where you're going, your body just it hasn't just been stationary and sitting the whole time. So again, I do exercise because it's a fundamental practice. It, it allows me to bring forth um, what I have to offer, uh, you know, for me to, to, to bring the best to life and, you know, in my creative pursuits or my connections or just living my daily life, living with as much energy as I can. So wanted to share that again, um, just like with nutrition, would love to hear your thoughts on this, uh, you know, based on things I mentioned or other practices you know about. How do you integrate uh, exercise and movement into your day? Would love to hear this, totally open to learn. Uh, new ideas. This is just something I thought of and again wanted to start the conversation. So hope you're doing well and until next time.